This traditional knife pattern is called a sunfish, or sometimes it's called an ele elephant's toenail because it's such a big, um, broadly shaped, even-ended, cigar-patterned pen blade. Uh, it's a pen blade because it has, it's a slip joint knife with two blades, uh, and you have one coming from one side and the other one uh, coming out this side, and they're both spear point, and this is a small pen blade. So this makes this a pen, uh, a pen knife, technically. Just like, uh, just like this little, little knife is a pen knife. This might be more what we think of when we think of a pen knife. Uh, but anyway, I've always been fascinated by this pattern and they're pretty hard to come by. And, uh, I recently went on a little, um, Rough Rider kick. Uh, I wanted to check out Rough Rider. A lot of, um, YouTubers that I know and respect, uh, like Rough Rider knives. I decided why not drop 70 bucks, buy six or five or six of them and check them out. And that's what I did. And, uh, in doing so, I picked up this marbles also now marbles is also a brand like rough rider owned by smoky mountain knife works uh it's an old brand that they bought and uh now they they make some very budget-minded knives um this among them but for all the budgetness of it it is extremely extremely stout there's no blade play in either blade it's got an amazing spring with uh, really great, uh, uh, really great action and it, you know, nice lockup for a slip joint. And, uh, this, this knife was under 15 bucks. It's 440A steel. And, um, I gotta say, if you have a need, a fix, uh, if you're jonesing for some slip joint knives, you don't know what you want. You don't want to spend much money. Um, maybe you want to try out a bunch of different patterns. Uh, just like you've heard many others say, these Rough Riders and Marbles are the way to go. Um, so I got this and I got a couple of Rough Riders in the same shipment, but I, I wanted to show this one off because it's such a cool pattern. Uh, you can see this line here on the blade. I think that's because this was sitting in a box in a warehouse somewhere for a long time. Um, so yeah, there's somehow the finish has been affected and, uh, but you know, I didn't pay much money for it. Now, when you get a knife like this, you're going to examine it and you're gonna feel, wow, the transitions, especially in the corners, the transitions are smooth and, you know, just as good as, I have to say it, my GECs, just as good as my case knives. Um, now, the fitment is not there exactly. I mean, look at this, you've got this little gap here. Um, where the where the bone kind of shies away from the liner and you got some little things you got that crack there which on a um as long as it doesn't go to the pinhole i'm fine with um and then there you've got that little piece that sits proud there that that's the termination of the spring that holds the pen blade in Things a pain in the butt to get in and out, I gotta say. But it's it's sharp and it stays out nicely. So yes, you'll you'll you're you're not gonna get the same quality necessarily. Uh, there's a slight amount of play in this little blade. But I suspect that with a mallet, like with most uh slip joint knives, you take a mallet and you gently uh gently tap the bolsters together, sometimes it just tightens it up for you. Uh, but yeah, smooth white bone, very nice. Uh, I know that Rough Rider right now has one with a with a bright blue, like a royal blue G10, and I want to get that one and see if it's the exact same knife and if if it is made by the same uh, factory and maybe it's just the same frame, the same everything being shared. Uh, so yeah, these sunfish knives, elephant uh, toenail knives, were apparently uh, first created for rope. I've heard them called rope knives, and actually I watched a very interesting video on Cutlery Lover's channel. Uh, uh, Jeff Smith was talking about how this is the first batoning knife ever. Let's see, he said they were originally intended to, like on ships or whatever, or wherever you need to cut rope, you take, you take this very broad blade 
you put it on the rope and you take a mallet, pretend that this is a mallet, and you just boom, boom, boom. And now, whether or not they were used for that, it's a very cool story and a cool purpose for a knife. Um, you know, say you work on a ship and you don't want something dangling on your belt all the time, so you have this big knife to pull out. The only thing is, is most, the only, the only thing about that explanation for this design, well, there are two, two, two oddities to that. First of all, uh, the history itself just shows that these were used mostly uh, in the Midwest by electricians and carpenters. This uh, elephant's toenail or sunfish design was used chiefly in the United States in, in, the, in middle America, in, in the Midwest, uh, by carpenters and electricians, uh, I guess for that really robust blade. And the other thing that, that gives me pause about uh, this being a rope knife is I guess I jumped to the conclusion that when I think of rope knife, I think of ships. And then when I think of ships and, and uh, folders that are supposed to be in maritime environments, they usually have a bale or at least a, uh, a lanyard um, hole for you to put a lanyard through. So if you're doing work and you're over the side of a boat or whatever near the water, it doesn't drop and sink and gone forever. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of sort of marine knives have that that feature. So I don't know. It's a cool little bit of lore. I'm not sure uh, what, what the actual story is with this. Um, like I said, I don't mean to doubt uh, Jeff. He's a he's he's got a, a a real depth of knowledge when it comes to, well, all things sharp and, and pointy, but definitely traditional blades. He studies up on them. So I'm sure that's why they were originally created, uh, but indeed they were used, uh, as I've read, mostly by carpenters and electricians. I'll just say it one more time. So there it is. Isn't that a cool knife? I love that. Now, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the G10, the blue G10 um, Rough Rider, just to compare it. And uh, these will tide me over until I someday uh, get a real fine one. If you if you look these up, if you look like uh, antique sunfish knives up, man, they are expensive. Just finding like an old case, one of these, you're going to spend so much money if you can find one. So it's kind of a cool, unique pattern. All right, there it is. The sunfish. This one by Marbles.